Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's happening for you for the next 48 hours or so. So what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. This is going to be a general reading, but I'm sure you're all mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just down below the video here in the show more section. Otherwise, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and begin. Some of you are going through something very painful, very hurtful. Okay. You've come up as the Ten of Swords as well as the Page of Swords here, guys. You're struggling here with finding happiness again, or you're struggling here with um, making peace with a certain situation here. You're struggling with being happy here is what I'm seeing. The Ten of Swords is all about uh, endings, defeat, pain. Uh, it's some sort of undoing, right? It's a betrayal, it's ruin. It does bring a, in a strong sense of finality here. So you could be going through something like this card itself could be a reflection of you possibly feeling as though you've hit emotional rock bottom. You may have felt uh, a loss, a backstabbing or um, like a betrayal of some sort or you possibly be going into this kind of energy here. Um, there is, on a more positive side, this card often shows up when there is an ending that's nearing to a suffering of some sort. So if you guys, if you are going through a breakup or um, a disconnection or a loss or just like this period of darkness here, I do feel like there is going to be a sense of peace that is going to be found from out of the situation. Maybe not in the next 48 you know, to 72 hours or so, but eventually there is a light at the tunnel. Um, so, you know, out of the darkness, the light will emerge here. Um, and the fact that the sun here rises on the horizon, this obviously brings in a renewed sense of hope and opportunity. So, look, if if you are experiencing a period of darkness with regards to a romantic situation or a situation of some sort here, maybe there is still something to be found from out of this connection. Maybe there is still hope. Okay, because something still feels optimistic here in the energy. Something still feels very hopeful, even though it may seem very doom and gloom right now, even though this card may suggest you've hit emotional, you know, rock bottom. But I feel like there's an upside to hitting rock bottom because the only way is up, right? So I feel like even though, you know, these ends, something here has ended very dramatically and very painfully and even very violently here, maybe the ending itself is giving you a sense of, freedom letting letting yourself like let, letting go and releasing an energy here um, removing yourself from an unha unhealthy or an unhappy relationship here okay it's like the ending of something but also the beginning of something else here now some of you as well i feel like there could potentially be communication that comes in from this person who has hurt you and i feel like Either the fact that you're going to hear from them is going to really elicit a very strong emotional reaction, a very strong emotional energy within you. So hearing, you might get very emotional just hearing from them, or you might get very emotional with um, in reacting to what it is that they have to say here. So something he has ended or is ending for you, but to me it feels like that the ruin of it is at the hands of another. So it's not that you've insight to this it's not that you've brought this upon yourself it's just that someone here unfortunately you were on that receiving end of the betrayal or that you know that the hurt or that darkness the treachery the pain that we see but it does feel like there is i mean look at the cards it does feel like i know you're going through a darkness and the next 48 hours might not necessarily be easy and look this may has this may have been going on for quite some time here you know this uh, sense of hurt, the sense of pain, this emotional disappointment, this darkness here. But I do feel like there is some sort of hope here 
to be found. And I feel like all things may be salvageable. Um, this might not be the end. It could be the ending of a cycle. It could be the ending of a chapter. But it, could, but it could also be the beginning of a new one here. The promise of a new day. Rebooting. Recovering here. Right? The fresh start. The fresh start after that period of pain. So a lot of you, I do feel like, look, things may be uh, very doom and gloom now. Things may be very unfortunate and very uncertain and just not very pleasant. But I feel like you are going to pick yourself up from the situation and someone he might come to you to seek redemption, to seek forgiveness, to seek that emotional start. And this is someone who might want to, just as much as you do as well, to release the past and start over again. And maybe this is what's going to create this very strong emotional ball of energy in you. Now, temperance as well, there's such an alchemy to this card, isn't it? So it's, I feel like there's such a magic around a specific situation. So even if things feel like they're not working out for you here. Understand that that too is a part of the plan of things working out for you, if that makes sense. Now, Page of Swords, you've come up as a Page of Swords, so you might find yourself really tempted here to do some cyber stalking on a certain energy. It could be an ex. It could be someone that you're romantically or loosely involved with. But it feels like maybe there is no communication with this person right now. Um, no contact, no communication. It feels like you are not in a good space, or the both of you aren't in a good space, but it still feels like you want to feel a form of connection. In one, somehow, some way, in a way, you want to feel connected with them. And maybe that's just how you feel connected by, you know, jumping on their social media, seeing what they're posting, seeing what they're um, up to, because there's a sense of curiosity. And look, something may provoke this curiosity. Maybe it's the fact that you hear from this person. Maybe it's the fact that you hear. Um, some communication or a message to do with this person but I definitely see you doing some cyber, cyber stalking you could also find yourself writing and deleting messages to someone you may feel that that in itself is very th therapeutic and very healing or you might feel as though you put together a message because I feel like for some of you you're putting together a message it's something that you want to say but there's this push and pull energy to the knight of swords there's this nervousness that we get with the page here so Maybe you don't feel like you're brave enough to send that message. Maybe you don't feel like you're ready enough to insight, you know, um, to initiate communication here. And, you know, I don't feel like a lot of you are sending it off. I just feel like there's this emotional tug of war. You want to do it, but you just can't quite get it over the line here. There, there could also be some sort of tension, incoming tension, some conflict, some stress that you might feel regarding a certain situation here. Um, there could be a, I feel like... You might find yourself getting into an, like a verbal disagreement, a fight, or some sort of conflict here. Something you say might be misconstrued and misunderstood. Something someone else says might be misunderstood here. But the Five of Wands energy, it just feels like there's some sort of battle here. Now this could be, it might not be translated as a physical battle so it may not necessarily have to mean that there's going to be an altercation or a dispute or a disagreement it could be that for some of you it is that okay because you do have the suit of swords here that has shown up so it could be a verbal disagreement a fight or a misunderstanding um of some sort but for others it could be reflected internally okay emotionally so maybe you are feeling this emotional tug of war maybe you feel like there's someone here you want to communicate with but maybe you feel like you know you're they're not quite maybe you don't feel like they're quite ready for a reconciliation or maybe you feel like although you miss them and you know you want to connect with them maybe it's best that you don't there's some sort of emotional tug of war and i feel like you're being pulled this way you're being pulled that way here now star tells me the star card he tells me that you feel still very much hopeful about a certain situation or a certain energy here and it is a card that does signify uh joy optimism guidance um it, it's like finding answers and a feeling of feeling connected to the divine. So look, there could be some answers that come to you within the next 48 hours or so as well. You might find the next 48 hours some sort of emotional breakthrough or something feels very healing. So 
you might be stepping into a space here or you're creating a space in your life where you you I feel like some of you are taking maybe like doing meditation or practicing some self relaxation techniques which might feel very healing and therapeutic to your energy as well some of you are going to be experiencing this quiet after a storm so even though the next 48 hours or so might be a bit tumultuous here um, but afterwards because afterwards you know the dust will settle on the situation and you'll experience some sort of quiet Forgiveness is also called for, that's for some of you, I feel like someone might need to seek your forgiveness or you feel as though you need to seek uh, someone forgive, someone, you, you're seeking someone's forgiveness or someone is seeking your forgiveness here. The star card also speaks of strong feelings being abandoned here, so maybe you are trying to move past a situation or move on from a person and even though you might still have a lot of strong feelings for this person you're slowly slowly but surely starting to abandon those feelings here as well it does signal a rejuvenation and an opportunity of some sort so for some of you I do feel like there's going to be incoming messages here or incoming contact which could uh, reflect uh, a future reconciliation or reunion between you and a person here because water represents in, well, with this um, imagery, water represents rejuvenation here, the needing to purify, if you will, a situation. So some of you, I feel like, are going to, you're either going to be asking yourself some very deep personal questions regarding something, or someone here is going to come in asking you some very deep personal questions. But I feel like rather than talking to this person, you're kind of staying silent and you're kind of withdrawing to yourself and you're kind of having this conversation to yourself here, with yourself. Because I feel like you're going deep within and you're seeking answers here. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.